Hello creative souls, welcome to this sanctuary where you can transform your dance and soul and speak your authentic voice and manifest your big dance empire and really do what the fuck you want. If you are new in this channel, I am Chandini, I have been and I'm still a dancer, a choreographer and now I do coaching specially for belly dancer and Indian dance style to help you to have that growing mindset to help you to take your dance to the biggest empire you are dreaming about to lead your business if you want to see all my offers or sign up for some coaching with me go in the description below there is all the link so i decided to do a series of video about all those limiting bullshit beliefs who are totally breaking the mindset of dancers and i want to start this series and the aim is like I will take one meat, one stupid belief by video and every time I'm going to break it. So that's kind of the aim. So the first one I choose to start this series of video is I think the one I heard the most through my career and I am still hearing sometimes is that what are you doing in life? Yeah, I am a dancer. Yeah, but what's your real job? Like, dance isn't a job. Okay. <laughs> I just spend my entire day to get training. I teach. I get paid for that. I get paid for performing. For sure, I invest financially to do that. I declare my enterprise. How can you tell me that's not a job? So this is really a big misconception that is all on the world and can really affect dancers. It's like it is putting you in your mind that what you are doing is not that much important. It cannot be a business. You cannot earn correctly money because it's just a passion. Okay, we'll give you some bucks because you came to dance, but this is not a job. This is not a business. It is. We, we should... After you want to educate people or not on that topic, it's up to you. But you should get focused on your mindset about that because yeah dance is a job it's not because it starts from a passion that doesn't mean we are not working hard we are investing time we are investing all our time to first get training to get skills to practice to develop our choreography to maybe do video to be teaching to students to go to some festival all of that is time and money investment and I mean, like, I never calculate how much money I would have invested in just... I have been dancing for 10 years as professional now. And uh, uh, before when I started to dance, yeah, more than 15 years or 20 years of investment. I cannot even count how much money I would have spent. And I mean, like, yeah, it's like, it's a damn fucking job. I mean, like, and also maybe something, I don't know how it is in each and every country, because I know in a lot of places I went, it was not the same. But also, when I was speaking a lot of dancers in the US, they kind of face the same thing. It's like, you know, what make people think is not a real job is because too much people are not doing it like a real job. That's the main thing. They just hide under an association or just like, oh, it's just a pastime. I go dance in a restaurant. I just do some event. And that's what killing the mentality of being professional so not here to blame anyone because i do not buy the victim mentality of putting the responsibility on someone else we are all responsible for our reality for our mindset so if you should just hold on yourself take responsibility of you you are a real job you are a real professional so behave like speak like show your business and don't even care what others are doing that's really something you should not get tricked in your mindset. It's like, fuck the 3D around you. The 3D can all totally change if your mindset here changes first. So just stay focused like, okay, if I consider my dance as a real job, how I'm going to speak, how I'm going to present myself, what do I create an enterprise, how do I brand myself, how do... How do I invest? What what I want to build with that dance? I You should have, that's what I always say, you should have the CEO mentality. Yes, you are a fucking CEO. You own your own business. It's your own brand. So you should behave like. 
And me, it took me time to understand that because I was too much caught up in the 3D reality and what everyone was saying. And I was, I didn't have the, that business mindset at the start, of course. It took me time. It took me time to get that, to understand that it was all coming from my mindset. So when you are business, You don't get, you don't accept all the contract. You put your terms, you put, this is my term. Like when you go to buy a dress or whatever, you just like the client side, the client, you just go inside the shop and he goes buy what he wants. He is not coming to say like, oh, you should make the shop like this. Oh, you should do the branding like that. You should, no. So you are the brand, you put your terms. Dance is your business. So what are your terms? What are your brand? And maybe it's like, it's not because it's your passion that you should not put your terms. That's even the opposite. You should even put more your terms. It should be you. It should reflect you, who you are. You are holding the brand of your dance. And that's very important. If you want to turn your passion into a thriving business, you should really think like that. You are your CEO, what you do all day. What do you want to do? What's your term? And people will come to you. You should not have that mentality of going begging for contract or thinking like, okay, they propose me that. So I should accept because I'm not getting much. This is all a mindset problem. This is purely a mindset problem. It is a manifesting problem. If you, when I mean problem, it means like you can shift it and you can change it. What I mean is that if you hold, oops, oh, Sorry. If you hold that uh, business mentality in your mind and you, in your head, again, you don't have to pretend in 3D. That's not the thing. But when you are starting your dance business or if you just now feel stuck in your dance business, you are like, okay, you wake up every day. I am the CEO. I have tons of contracts. Everything is like I want. I, I love my business because I do exactly what I'm meant to be. I love it. It is thriving. So, of course, you won't have that mind of, oh, I should run after this contract. I should beg for this contract. Oh, I should. Okay, they don't want to pay me. Oh, it's okay. I just want to be there. No, stop with that. Do you think a CEO is going to do that? No. So, don't do it. Be that mind of being a business. A business was rules. I don't like the term rules. Let's say who have conditions, who have their own terms. You Put the terms and client has to accept it or no. But you are the first one deciding. It's your business. It's your stance. It's your artistic. It's yours. It's you. Otherwise, what is if you just want to answer orders of someone at the top of you, just go back in any company. But that's not what we are doing. We are doing art. We are doing artistic stuff. So we decide what you want to do. And this is where also... Dance is a real fucking job. We are spending all our day. We are passion. We are eating, thinking. We are living that passion. We are living that job. And most of probably we are working more than people in the company. Because once they leave the office, they can plug out everything in their head and they just go mind their life. We are artists. We get inspired by everything we see, but everything we are doing. The idea pop up just like that in our mind. Me, how much choreo I brought in the middle of the night until 3 o'clock a.m.? I mean, that's how we are. That's, that's more than a real job, no? Don't you think? I know you think that, but just saying. So then, if you want to be acknowledged as did, have that mindset. What, what, okay, what job I want to build, what business I want to build, and then how I want my dance empire to be. Because you can literally build an empire and a branding. And it's not about the money. We are going to break that limiting belief later also. Just to mean like me, for example, I just started with dance. I was a teacher and I was doing the choreo. I was going in some festival. And then now I wanted to do more with my dance, to do more. So now I'm doing video. I'm doing video production and not much full time, just like that. And then I'm like, okay, I started to do my branding. So I started to do my visual. I really wanted to sell my dance like I am, like I look like. And me, what I look like is create everything top to bottom. Even the tattoo I have, I design them all. I design my costume and I have amazing designer and tailor in India that are making them. And I'm very thankful for that. And so 
Now I want to be a coach because I want to help. I want to help with this mindset that no one told us. We know where to learn dance. We know where to learn these skills. But we don't know how to make dance business. We don't know how to have that mindset. The mindset to get rid of all the limiting beliefs. The manifesting mindset to get our life a desire. What our life should be, our dream life. And not a struggle. And especially not with our passion. We are artists. So more than anyone else. We dream, we dream so much. We are going to make it real. We are not just dreamers. And just what I wanted to add on the top of that is that just change your mindset. Mindset is the clue of most of your struggle. That's how you are going to manifest everything you want and everything is going to fall in your hand without even doing anything. It's just like if you leave the experience in your mind, if you wake up thinking like, okay, I want to... I want to be serious about my dance. I want to be se- I want people to take me seriously. Then you wake up thinking everyone is always taking you seriously. You start to complain that oh they think I'm not a business. Oh they don't take me seriously. Oh I am not respected. Break that belief. Break that by first reshaping all our thoughts. Yes, you are respected. Yes, you are a successful business. Yes, you get all the contract you want. You are building your empire. Me now my empire is dance plus coaching. And the next step I have is costume design and maybe music production and more big video production. I have, I'm not going to stop there because my mindset is there. I'm going to sex to be successful no matter what. I'm going to do what I dream no matter what. And I'm putting all the effort into it. But the first effort ever you have to do, it's every day when you wake up, it's all the day long. It's before going to sleep. It's keeping your thought in shape and in alignment with what you want and not what you are experiencing right now if you don't like what you don't ex- what you are experiencing right now don't think about it don't focus don't react because that's feeding it more and more in your mind i am the big ceo my business is thriving i have all the contract i want i make tons of money i have tons of contract i am very successful everyone take me seriously that's the only thing you should repeat to yourself over and over We are going to stop here for today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, comment, share. I like to get your feedback and see you in the next video.